Hello YouTube, I'm here with the second part of the tutorial to make this background. Today we're going to make the cross over here. So um, yeah, let's get started. So open up Sim of RD and um, start with making two cubes. One uh, which uh, the size and the segments you can see over here. On my one cube and the other one. So um, if you've done that, you take um, the biggest one and uh, turn it around 90 degrees like this, and then place it in the middle of the other one and bit up like this so you have this cross looking cross so like this um then we go to create new material double click it go to the turn off specular and go to color Mm, then by texture, click over here, and I open up this texture, um, which uh, link I will put in the description to your website, Wild Textures, that has many cool textures for free, so yeah, put it in the um, the color. Next you drag it onto the uh, we start with uh, this one, smallest and you click on it and you can uh, change the scale uh, the tiles, excuse me till it fits like that. Um, you can take quick render see if it looks good already so for the front I think it's pretty good. So um you also in the material uh can double play the material and go to bump and in bump you open up the same image um no open up the same image and strain it to forty percent like this and you can also drag the texture at the other one and to change the tiles you just click on the texture that's here against um, your other uh, cube so click on it and you can change the tiles there also without changing the other ones of the other cube so change it till it fits over there too. So yeah, you change the tiles a bit till you see it's looking good. Quick render. So but um you see at um, this side of the cube and this side the texture doesn't look very well because it's very, how should I say, flat. Um, so we can make the cubes editable by hitting C, selecting them and hitting C. And um, I'm going to select the sides of the cube. Back here, I will turn off. Um, this one for a moment so I can select these click on select tool click on radius bit and then just select these and make a copy of your material so uh, I don't know which one it is no. Uh, 
So, so uh, just take one and drag that one onto the selected part. So um, then you can change the tiles. Oh, not these ones. Tiles over there. But there's something wrong. I'll take a quick render to see how it looks. No, that's not what we want. So, oh, it has much too much tiles. So, take the tiles over here down to yeah, like twenty three or something. And now I'm going to take a quick run. Oh, it's still not good. Oh my god, why is this not working? What? What is happening over here? Zero point five. No, it's not good. Mm. So I'll turn on the other one. See how it looks like in the render. Mm. But actually, you can't see it because it's. Yeah, you won't see a cross uh, in the final render like this, just like these are some, so you won't see that the texture doesn't fit perfectly. <coughs> so, um, now we're going to uh, deselect this part and go to Mesh, Transform Tools and Magnet. And just bring some changes onto the cross so it would look a bit more naturally so just a little bit and the texture will change with your um, with the changes on the cross himself, so it will look naturally. So the same thing, I the other one. A little bit changes, like this. And this looks good to me. So. Maybe here a little bit more. But, uh, take a render. Mm, this looks good. So I'm going to save it. Save as. Cross. Mm. Mm. Documents and forty cross save. Oh, come on. Why can't I not save this? What? Cancel. Just file save as. Oh, yeah. Um, cross and close it so um, now we're going to open up 
the grass scene we made the last tutorial. So open and where is it? Halloween dark grass. There it is. So go take a view into the camera and go to file open. Oh no, excuse me, not open. File merge and take cross. So I'm first going to uh, make another object of these. Go select them. Go to create object null. So select them and drag them into the null. I'm going to name null cross like this. Yes. Is it over there? Oh, oh cross here it is. So mm, turn it around a bit like this and scale it down. So like this and take a quick render just to see how it looks like. And before I render, maybe I'm going to make it a bit like this. So take a quick render and normally it would look like my background over here. But I, oh sh yeah, I forgot one thing. Yeah, um, the nails here and this uh, cross. So, take my view out of the camera and I'm going to the cross and make a oil tank. Take it up to here. Turn it ninety degrees. Turn it a bit till it fits onto your cross and scale it much, much down. Yes, a bit more and then you place it over here in your cross. Till it fits. A copy of it. Right, copy it next to it. Make another copy of that. And Drag that copy so here. Oh, your copy is gone. Oh, and just to leave. So like this, and go to create new material. Double click the material 
go to color and turn our specular, go to color, um, it was three points, and I think this Rust image you can type in on Google, uh, Rust or whatever. So you'll find this uh, this kind of image that has to be this one. But, uh, and then you select those three oil tanks, tanks and drag this texture on it. Oh on each of it so like this now we're just going to make a quick render and this should be good See here how long it takes to render. So take a look at the textures. Pretty nice web website actually. Don't tell me what looks pretty. So, uh, this was my tutorial, thanks for watching and give me feedback, thanks, bye.